you are not doing enough damage in Pet Simulator 99 because of one of these factors that we are about to go over. You are going to want to watch the end of this video to make sure you are doing each of these methods in order to maximize your damage output. While there could be a number of reasons why you are not doing the damage that you want to see in Pet Simulator 99, we are going to go over the 7 biggest reasons why this might be and how you can fix this. In this video, I will discuss exactly what you can do to instantly start pumping out more damage. And we will do some testing just to show you that what I'm saying is true. As well as just give you some overall tips that I've learned along the way that has helped my damage output. As always, comment your Roblox username down below to be entered into the giveaway, as well as like the video and subscribe to the channel. Because we hit 2,500 subscribers, I am going to be giving out some special exclusives today, so you're going to want to make sure you are entered. As well as join the discords where we talk about all of these tests that we do before we upload. Without further ado, let's get right into it because we have a lot of testing and a lot of tips to go over. Alright, so the first of the reasons why you might not be doing the damage that you want to do in this game is because you probably have not invested enough diamonds into your pet equip slots. Now, I did a whole video on this topic, so check it out on the channel if you want a more in-depth guide uh, where I go over the numbers about how much damage you actually gain from purchasing these pet equip slots. But that was a long video, so I'm not going to go over everything again. To summarize the video though, Pet equip slots are pretty much the best thing that you can invest your diamonds in in Pet Simulator 99 to do overall more damage output while grinding. As you guys can see, I have maxed out my pet equip slots, but I have not bought the new ones from the rank up. So I still have to buy these, but this would be a very good investment for me if I felt like my damage output wasn't currently good enough. The difference between buying a huge pet or some rainbow exclusive compared to buying a whole pet equip slot. Every time you buy a new pet equip slot, you're adding a whole new set of power. So for example, you buy a level 70 huge that does plus 50% damage. So that pet's only going to replace one of your pets that you already have in a slot and add 50% more power. So for example, if I replaced one of these toucans, it'd be 7.5 million for a level 70 huge. Compared to adding a whole new slot where I could just add 15.3 million for something cheap like an 18,000 gem pet. And keep in mind, a pet equip slot is always going to be cheaper than a huge. The cheapest huges we have are about 6 million diamonds right now. And the most expensive pet equip slots are only a little bit above a million. So the amount of value you get from buying a pet equip slot over any kind of huge is enormous. And to be quite honest, if you want to do the most damage possible, you should be investing in more pet equip slots before you go ahead and buy any huges. But this is Pet Simulator 99 and we are here to collect pets. So I don't blame you. I didn't max out my pet equip slots before I started buying huges. But if you wanted the most damage possible, that is what you should do. Alright, so the second most important factor for doing the most damage in Pet Simulator 99 is actually going to be your base pets. A lot of people often forget that huges and exclusives base all of their damage on whatever the best pet you have in your inventory. So for me and all of my accounts, I have the Rainbow Shiny Toucan as my best pet, which has a 16.8 million power stat. Therefore, all of my huges and all of these exclusives base their damage solely on this pet. So we're going to do some testing in a second to see what my damage would be with these various pets, depending on if I had this as my best pet, this as my best pet. While I do use this pet, for this video, I'm going to go ahead and try to purchase the best pet in the game in order to see how much more damage I would be doing if I owned that pet. As you guys can see, this pet is the best in the game that you can open from the best egg right now. And it has a stat of 17.8 million damage. So it's a whole million more power than my pet that I'm currently using. The current wrap value of this pet is actually 13.5 million. And there's only 130 of these that exist. 
which means that these are actually rarer than most huges in the game. So we're going to go into the trading plaza and uh, look for these currently. If we can find one for under 14 mil, I will be happy. All right, so unfortunately, we couldn't find any rainbow shiny sun angeluses to test for this video. So we're going to test three of the four top pets that we can get right now that being the rainbow shiny toucan the rainbow sun angelus as well as the rainbow toucan all right so i'm going to be having the testing that we did going on in the background but i'm going to go over these results that we have as you can see the rainbow toucan has 15.3 million power and it did 113 billion damage so that's going to be the base number that we're going off of Keep in mind that all of your exclusives and huges will scale with this number exactly. So I did another test with some huges that you'll also see in the background. And the huges damage output changed just the same as these numbers did. So when we upgraded to the Rainbow Sun Angelus, we were doing a total of 184 billion damage. Representing a 63% damage increase over the Rainbow Toucan. And then finally, with a rainbow shiny toucan at 16.8 million power, we were doing a total of 227 billion damage, representing a 201% damage over the rainbow toucan. So by just upgrading to this rainbow shiny toucan, you can overall double your damage output for all of your huges and all of your exclusives. And all you need to do is buy one of these things, and they cost about 440,000 rep at this very moment. So 440,000 diamonds is a very good price to increase the damage of your team by 63%. But obviously, this is only for your huges and exclusives, but just something to keep in mind. And then if you really want to upgrade your setup, you can get the Rainbow Shiny Toucan, which will give you a 101% damage increase over the Rainbow Toucan, which, which is pretty good. But if you don't have any huges or exclusives, this point will mean nothing. All right, you guys. So after you max out your pet equip slots and get a good team of base pets, next, you're going to want to start investing your diamonds into it into rainbow exclusive pets all right so i'm gonna have the numbers on the screen of how much damage each of the types of exclusive pets do as you can see starting with the rainbow 85 percent pet it does 145 percent of your best base damage pet then the 90 percent exclusive does 150 percent damage and then the 95 percent does 155 percent damage of your best base pet and then next to it in the column, you could see that those are the low end prices that I was able to find of these exclusive pets. Now, the reason why these are better than huges uh, early in the game is that a huge at level 70 is going to do 150% more damage than your best base pet. So the 90% rainbow exclusive actually does the same damage as a level 70 huge. And a uh, rainbow 95% pet actually does more than a level 70 huge. For the cost of the cheapest level 70 huge, you can get three rainbow 90% pets that basically do three times the additional damage that you're going to get as one huge. Obviously, these numbers are going to change a lot because the exclusive market as well as the huge market changes and fluctuates very often. But for the most part, rainbow exclusives are almost always going to be a better deal than huges. Even with the rainbow 95 percenters being 3.5 to 4 mil each, they're still kind of a better deal. All right, so now on to the huges. Once you have maxed out your pet equip slots and you have a good team of rainbow exclusive, the next best thing to invest in is huges, but more specifically, it's better to invest in golden huges. As you can see on this chart, a regular level 70 huge does a 150% damage. Meanwhile, a golden huge level 70 is going to do 170%. And while the, the price difference between the golden and the regular huge is less than 20%, but you get a 20% damage buff. So that's why it's worth it to go with the golden huge over the regular huge huge and then i also included on this chart you can see the damage percentages with strength charms so currently right now strength charms are like fifteen thousand diamonds so they are dirt cheap 
you can get them for basically free and you can just throw those right on a huge and get and give it a 30 percent damage buff i'm also fairly certain that these charms do stack um i know the royalty charms don't stack but i'm pretty sure the strength charms do i have to do another test since the new update came out you know big games likes to change things behind our backs sometimes but huges with strength charms are very good deals at the moment because they do a lot of damage obviously one royalty charm would be a good addition as well as it does a 40 percent increased damage but each of those charms are like four million right now and it's just not worth it for nearly anybody unless you have a maxed out team all right to wrap up the video i'm quickly just gonna go over some general info about damage buffs that you could get in the game as well so if you guys didn't know if you have a clan level three and you are in it you get an automatic plus 12 percent damage buff overall which is really good i believe you have to donate a total of like 10 million gems to your clan though uh for them to get this upgrade but it's just something to consider if you're not in a clan you might as well go out and try to join one i know a lot of people are looking for people you might just need to do a small donation but getting that buff will help a lot as well as you get a three percent pet walk speed buff as well as a 20 percent regular walk speed so being in a clan does have its perk just another quick tip if you are trying to maximize the damage you are doing and I'm sure you guys know, but the best damage enchant we currently have in the game is the Criticals book. It makes your pets do a significant amount more damage. So if you are not doing enough damage, I would definitely have at least two of these books on at all times. As well as have your strength potions and your fruits on because these really do add up. I see a huge difference when I don't use my fruits and my potions. And a lot of these potions are just not that expensive, especially for something like damage. You can get these tier fours for a thousand if you don't have any, but just playing the game naturally, you should have plenty of potions to use. Just make sure you're always using them while you're doing your full grind because this will multiply the amount of break goals you are able to break and therefore the amount of diamonds you are able to get. Now, that's pretty much all the tips I have for you guys today. If this video helped, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to comment your Roblox username down below for the giveaway. And join the Discord for the inside scoop on a lot of these tests. We do a lot of talking and we have a good little community in the Discord where we discuss a whole bunch of topics about Pet Simulator. So if that sounds good to you, please join up and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.